the home screen in iOS 19 may be undergoing its most noticeable change in years. This update is expected to bring an interface that appears lighter and more immersive, pulling inspiration from Apple's Vision Pro headset. Instead of static tiles, app icons might float subtly above a semi-transparent base with shadows that move gently as the device tilts. These icons may feature a soft glow that reflects the tones of the wallpaper, adding depth and presence without being distracting. Colors on the home screen are expected to shift depending on time and lighting, moving from cooler tones in daylight to warmer shades at night. This change supports both user comfort and visual elegance. Design updates could extend into the navigation experience. Floating navigation bars are likely to appear across more of the system. These bars may no longer touch the screen edges, but instead hover above content, with smooth curves that feel more natural under the finger. Buttons inside these bars might react with small animations, such as ripples or glows, to show they've been pressed. Everything in motion, from opening apps to swiping through menus, is expected to have smoother transitions. These animations aim not only to delight, but also to guide the user's attention clearly from one area to another. Widgets may become even more central to the home screen experience. While they already provide helpful snapshots of apps like weather, calendar, and news, iOS 19 could take this further by allowing these widgets to be grouped or stacked. Users may be able to flip through them with a quick swipe, like turning pages in a book. New widget designs might include gentle motion, such as a sun moving across the sky, or steps increasing in real time. Fonts inside widgets could adjust based on importance, with bold text for urgent events and lighter text for general information. The visual language is likely to focus on clarity while still remaining elegant. The lock screen may also play a larger role in design personalization. iOS 19 is expected to bring more control over how information appears here. Users could place widgets on either side of the clock and adjust their size and shape. These widgets might match the colors of the wallpaper behind them or take on a frosted glass look that helps them stand out while blending into the overall theme. Notifications are likely to rise gently from the bottom in a fluid motion, making them easier to manage without crowding the screen. Across the system, translucency could become a common theme. Menus, alerts, and quick access panels may all use a glass-like background that adapts to the content behind them. This layered look gives the illusion of depth and space, making interactions feel more physical. When opening Control Center, for example, the background might blur slightly to draw focus to toggles and sliders. These design decisions help users stay grounded while multitasking between apps and settings. The Control Center itself could be redesigned to match the updated system style. Instead of a tight grid of options, users may see rounded tiles that can be expanded or moved. Icons for flashlight, airplane mode, and Bluetooth might sit inside ring-shaped controls that gently light up when activated. Brightness and volume sliders could grow larger when touched, allowing for more accurate adjustments. A long press on any control might open a menu to change its position or swap it for another function. These changes would support personalization while keeping the interface clean and useful. System-wide, Buttons and text fields might also receive attention. Buttons are expected to use more rounded shapes and soft shadows, helping them stand out without being harsh. Text input fields could use borders that gently pulse when active, showing where the user is typing. Backgrounds in apps such as Notes and Safari may use subtle gradients that shift color slightly as users scroll. These design choices not only make the system more beautiful, but also more accessible for users who need extra visual support. The camera app is likely to benefit from this shift in design as well. The interface may become more minimal, with shutter and record buttons hovering above a blurred section at the bottom. Instead of stacking settings on top of the screen, iOS 19 might organize them into compact menus that slide in when needed. Options like exposure, filters, and focus could appear as small, colorful bubbles that expand when tapped. When switching between photo and video, the transition might include a soft fade and audio cue, creating a smoother user experience. Notification banners are expected to take on a new look too. They may become thinner and more rounded, taking up less space while remaining easy to read. A new style of animation might allow banners to slide in from the top with a short bounce before settling. 
important alerts, such as calendar reminders or emergency messages, could pulse gently or use a brief sound cue to stand out. These updates may help notifications feel less like interruptions and more like a natural part of the system. Settings menus could also follow this new visual approach. Dividers between sections might fade in and out instead of using solid lines. Icons next to settings could reflect the overall color theme, shifting as the system's background changes. Larger headers and improved spacing between text items would help users navigate more easily, particularly on smaller screens. Even the settings app icon might adopt the new floating and color shifting style, giving it more consistency with the rest of the home screen. Improvements to dark mode are also expected. Instead of relying on flat black and gray backgrounds, iOS 19 may introduce richer dark tones with gentle gradients. These tones could help reduce eye strain while preserving the design language of transparency and depth. Text and icons in dark mode may adopt subtle outlines or shadows to improve visibility. When switching between light and dark appearances, transitions could become more fluid, with every part of the interface adapting in harmony. Typography will likely play a key role in the updated design. Fonts used throughout the system may adjust in weight and spacing to improve readability. A variable font system could allow text to adapt smoothly between titles, subtitles, and body text. In areas such as messages, notes, and reminders, the text might grow slightly thicker or thinner based on the background color for better contrast. This attention to detail and type could make long reading sessions more comfortable and improve understanding across a wide range of users. AirPods integration may also get a subtle design improvement. When connecting AirPods, the pop-up may use the new glass-like background and include soft animations to show battery levels and device names. The background could shift slightly depending on which model of AirPods is used, helping users identify their accessories visually. A floating card might appear when switching noise control modes, using colors and motion to indicate the difference between noise cancelling and transparency settings. The design of multitasking features may evolve as well. Devices with larger screens could support floating app windows with rounded corners and subtle drop shadows. These windows may snap to different parts of the screen with soft animations and visual guides. Swiping between apps might include a sliding blur effect that reinforces the layered, translucent nature of the system. This would support more advanced workflows while maintaining the ease and clarity expected from iOS. Siri may gain a refreshed design interface too. Instead of taking over the screen, Siri could appear as a glowing orb that floats at the bottom, expanding only when a response is needed. The response text may use large, friendly fonts with color-coded replies, helping users track information at a glance. When asking questions about on-screen content, Siri's answer might float above the app, using transparency and shadows to stay readable while blending with the current view. iOS 19's design philosophy appears to focus on harmony between clarity, motion, and depth. By blending soft textures, refined motion, and adaptive elements, it creates an environment that feels both alive and approachable. Every interaction, from a tap to a scroll, could be guided by visual feedback that responds in kind. These choices are expected to build a system that not only looks beautiful, but also feels deeply connected to the way people use their devices every day.